Have you ever wished that some of your Bernina stitches would be a little bolder? So for example, on this particular Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course block, this stitch is, oh, it's okay. But what if we could make it bolder like this one is? Because this one is actually programmed to stitch three times in each of those stitches. I found the function is actually in this machine. So um, for the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, if you wanna learn more about your Bernina machine, this is truly the course to take. We do decorative stitches, we do presser feet, and we do sewing techniques, no embroidery at all. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you do take the time to stitch out your decorative stitches, which we highly recommend, and there's a link to a video down in this description below this YouTube video uh, where you can learn how to make the ultimate stitch book. Well, you're gonna find that some stitches are bolder and some stitches are not so bold. So they're just they're just the single line. So like this one here, I've stitched out. I'm gonna show you the difference between it being a single stitch and a triple stitch. So if a stitch has already been, you might say tripled, this function can't triple it again. So it's definitely on the stitches that are more single. So we're in the 600s, we're actually using 607. So touch the eye for information. And you're looking for this function right here with the three lines of stitches next to it. So if it is an option for this stitch, you can select it and then just go ahead and stitch it again. So like I said, if you don't see it, then it's not available. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna just push my start stop button because that's the easiest. And it is gonna take longer to stitch out, but it definitely is gonna give you that heavier look when it's done. So this is one of my secrets. When I uh, do the Stitching Cosmos course and I take stitches and people are like, how did you make them look so big did, or bold? Did you use thicker thread? And I usually don't reach for thicker thread. I'll reach for one of these functions that actually just stitches the stitches with more, uh, with more stitches. And so it really comes out nice. I'm gonna go ahead and push pattern end. So I'll finish up this stitch, lock it, and then cut it for me when it's done. Watch this, the lock, the cut, and then the left. So let's compare these two stitches side by side. You can definitely see that it has the look that I have used a thicker thread than what I did on the first one. So I love that extra boldness without much work and it's just a touch of the button. So make sure you open up that eye for information, see what other functions that you can uh, use for that particular stitch. If a function is not available, it's just grayed out and that's uh, just not an option for you. So when you're ready to take your stitching to a whole new level, maybe try twin needlework with decorative stitches, uh, try ruffling, try gathering, try the hemmer foot. Uh, this is definitely a course you should check out. We have free videos in this course that you can watch to see if this course is right for you.